Hello people of the internet, it's Kiro coming here again back with another vlog and this vlog is to chat over a cup of coffee uh, cup of milk actually coffee, I stopped drinking coffee uh, this vlog is a bit special because uh, like my 15th or 14th vlog where I met my friend after a long time uh, today I met another one of my friend after a long time and it's more of a very good happy to uh, meet him after a while um, yeah let's talk about yesterday first uh, you know uh, as you all know I've been I got four days holiday from my school and yeah this is fun even though my almost my whole oh, holiday always me mara gaya but still it's fun so yesterday in that night at around uh, 10 40 or 50 i got this uh, weird thing in my room my windows were vibrating very vigorously and I was like hey, who can I is it some sort of earthquake again or something like that but it turned out to be um, people playing very very loud music which was not audible uh, when I was inside my room but my window was still uh, vibrating but when I went in my veranda I was able to hear it and it was very very loud and at 10 30 mate people some people sleep at that time it's 11 right now by the way yeah, i'm making the floor a little late need to read that book to write that right uh, that book right there the valkyrie paul follow hello follow or something like that you know it's not follow it's follow or something like that which is not really like so please comment down whether it's Paul or Paulo. Okay, that's one thing that happened last night. Now another thing. Um, I think yesterday I opened my Facebook after a long time and I saw Ann Rucker get his um, his post on my feed you really i'm really happy to uh, see it like uh, he wrote he's proud of me and he I, he's like a big brother to me and if you're watching this and uh, i'm really thankful for what you said it means a lot a lot to me what you uh, wrote there and yeah you are like my big brother you have guided me you have uh, helped me, assured me through this journey of not just YouTube but journey of life overall. You are quite inspiring, even though you had your ups and downs in your life. But um, I'm really happy to know you. Really happy that we know each other, and really happy that you are a part of my life. And yeah, you now when I realize it, I look weird, kind of like this portion okay it's fine uh apart from that apart from thanking anraka and the sudden uh, realization of mine and i look weird uh let's talk about today now i think i i'm kind of tired right now if you can see it my life um today in the morning i woke up same thing let's just skip to 9 am directly of completing my first session of study and i had planned to meet a friend of mine it's like that vlog in which i met my another friend after a long time I met another one of my friend let's call him g he in greater noida uh, i met him i was planning to meet him i mean that uh, i was planning to meet him at 11 uh, so I told my father about my plan so he said okay we can go 
then I called him he never picked a single one of my call got really annoyed ki yaar I plan to meet you and this is what you're doing mm, so yeah I decided okay it's okay I'm not going to meet him then I'm just going to meet my brother he also live in Britain right now that my brother he probably watching the vlog and you should stop watching my vlog man with you I don't know why it feels weird. Okay, let's be. Um, so I decided to meet him, meet uh, Goro. Go, I mean G. Damn it. Okay, I decided to meet G. Uh, but he was not picking my call, so I decided to just meet my brother at the very least. I went to his apartment and took a book from there. Yeah. At eleven. Let let me again tell you. At eleven, we took a cab, and I met my brother, and I got this amazing book from there. I decided to take something. This is Murakami. If color less, the Tafukaru. Tafukaru Tazaki. Sorry. So. quite happy with it now like I, the cover it felt is so alluring and I can't wait to read it but first I'll have to complete uh, Valkyrie and if I keep making this vlog then it's okay but yeah okay hmm. okay uh, where was I yeah I went to my brother's apartment at 11 and I think I reached there like uh, 11 40 or 50 something like that I met my brother we decided to go out for having a good lunch so we went to uh, D world that's a place in Gaziabad uh, I mean Greater Noida what's wrong with me Greater Noida it was closed so we went back and we went to that place, SRS, uh, something, 70 days or something, 7 days. It's a mall, restaurant, something like that. Didn't really care. And I suddenly thought, let's try to call G and let's see whether he will pick my call or not. I've been trying to call him since uh, in the morning, like uh, uh, 7 to 9 to 11 when trying to call him and he was not picking it said he he was not available at that time so yeah um still i kept on trying and he did pick my call and i told him that where i was i gave my location and after 20 minutes he came there he may i mean he reached to the place where i was in the mall and then we had a small supper together we embraced each other and then we had a supper and then we went on and that's the interesting part we were roaming around the whole uh, to a big domish kind of uh, structure of my uh, of the of that uh, mall so we kept on roaming around the mall and we talked we talked we talked we talked about how life is what we want to do in future and then a little personal stuff and it felt really good it was like nothing changed between uh, us like we were friends back then we used to talk to each other and we are still friends when we still talk to each other that's basically very good very happy to like know that people can change quickly or not it feels uh, very good it's really good to be around someone you know and someone you want to be around like that I'm not making any sense but I'm sleepy I like look at my eyes yeah kind of sleepy mm, okay let's just try to end it in two or three minutes I have more things to tell you here a cup of milk for me
that's not advertisement by the way that's for me right there okay embarrassing uh, okay what happened next uh, we talked to each other let me continue I'm continuing my story for by the way uh, we talked to each other and then he went on his way and I went on my way and the interesting part is when we were parting each from each other I said I'll call you and then he said we together simultaneously we said um, maybe like that song from Carl call me maybe <laughs> okay even I think I'm the only one who's going to understand just this, this joke right now <sighs> then we went back home I slept for like okay I dropped my we dropped my brother my brother then we came back home then I slept for like one or two hours I was my head was aching I don't really like traveling in car or any moving vehicle I would rather walk I know if stupid even if you want to even if you want to go to a city like Greater Noida which is 80 to 90 kilometers away from here you would you cannot walk there still I don't like um, I don't like vehicles much I got North fear and all yeah I'm sleepy uh, but okay let's um, continue uh, at, uh, okay I woke up I started studying after like when I came back home I slept and then I started studying I 6 30 to 7 15 I was studying then I got a call from my uh, father he asked me to come to my neighbor's place uh, some game and stuff she the girl wanted to give some game to her neighbor yeah there's a skill chain there uh, so I went there and then something very interesting happened both father of the girl and my father uh, told their stories about clearing how they cleared uh, PCSG that's a public service commission judicial like type where my father was my father is basically in, involved in judicial stuff uh, let me not disclose much um, so how they struggled through their problem like my father was not able to almost didn't clear law and that uh, Finji uncle okay I shouldn't have named him okay um, forget the name please audience good audience uh, that guy how he was not asked to choose what he want to do and his brother and his father were disputing ki jana ka exactly isko yahan rahega to science karega he will send him to Allahabad then art and commerce karega so and he was just when he was a kid he was just looking at both of them and thinking ki karna kya mujhe mujhe koi puchega ki nahi yeah, this is kind of interesting to look at elders uh, telling about how they struggled in their childhood and that's literal struggle man you don't get to do what you want to do and you are in a you are put in a situation in which you basically cannot do anything you basically are in a position where you don't know much about the subject which you are studying yet you are studying it it's such a bad thing and then you don't even know what you want to do in your life that's of how they lived my father and his colleagues were mostly like this they didn't know what to do it's so harsh like no one asked them what they want no one is there to guide them but still at the place where they are right now they deserve to be here they are in a good position mm, they absolutely deserve to be here their hard work has been tremendous the, the, the potential they had and the work they put into it's just um, fascinating and such a it's, it's not a thing which we this generation where I am right now we cannot even think of uh, going through that struggle and coming out 
with this um, bit of bright and like, healthy and focused spirit and this um, bright face too yeah my face is kind of bright okay um, let me continue now so what i learned from that ki how privileged we are actually actually how privileged we are and i actually try to put myself into shoes of my father at that time at that age i wouldn't have been making vlog i would have been uh like struggling to study english kyunki mere english bahut achhi nahi hoti because i would have been studying in up board i would have been living alone would have been uh, trying to think trying to struggle through my life and that's how why my life would have been but here i am privileged enough to be making this vlog privileged enough to be reading a novel right there privileged enough to uh, be playing that guitar i got time even for that guitar privileged enough to be do what i want to do in my life so aren't i lucky aren't we all lucky to yaar kuch karne na iski ek reason mil jati hai kuch karne ke liye aur bhi zyada if you are so privileged why don't you do something and in the end yaar whatever you are doing it doesn't matter actually inspired to me kuch karne ke liye but yeah i am so by part to do something but there's no point in putting useless effort into something which worth nothing which can if something is taking your happiness away from you don't do it if you're doing something which at first you are unhappy about but it's reserved the profit not the result the profit profit is going to make you happy then do it if that will make you strong and that will make you happy i feel that'll provide you the true happiness I'm not talking about the result of that the consequence of what you will do will make you happy the process itself like if you're studying for an exam studying for an exam makes you happy not the result ki ha chalo 90 percent aaye kya kar loge bhai 90 percent aaye 90 percent aaye do din khush rahoge fir dukhi ho jaoge ye jo yaad kiya sab bhul gaye i am sleepy i need to sleep now i'm quitting this log now so bye for now and i'll see you guys tomorrow